We got a great little native shrub here, plant gang, Itea virginica, Virginia sweet spire, or just Itea is what you would call this. This is best placed in a little bit of a semi-shade situation and it's gonna do well for you. Uh, the blooms are all gone by, but I can see right on this plant these long blooms that were on here earlier in the spring. And that's one of the reasons you plant this is the spring bloom. Uh, but then you get, the, you get a nice kind of utilitarian uh, deciduous shrub throughout the season. Uh, but what Itea is really known for in my mind is its fall color. Mosaics of fall color uh, that really completely cover this tree. Uh, I put this in the same kind of classification I would put uh, Father Gilla. Father Gilla and Itea kind of uh, go hand in hand with each other. Clethra as well. They're all kind of in this same, uh, they can be used interchangeably in a lot of cases. Uh, there's a lot of great smaller cultivars of Itea that are uh, very suitable for the landscape that stay a little bit smaller. Uh, but this is a great native deciduous shrub for the home landscape, in particular in a semi-shade situation. Again, Itea virginica, Virginia sweet spire, or just Itea. Uh, the leaves are altern alternately arranged off of the stem, so you want to look out for that. Uh, they can get five to six foot high, three to five foot wide, but again, there are some cultivars that are a little bit more petite than, th than that. It is a very kind of erect shrub, uh, just kind of cascading at the top, but does stand up qu uh, quite well. Fall color, a mosaic of yellow, orange, red, purple, scarlets, crimsons, a lot of different colors. This plant is hardy from zones five through nine, so used through a wide variety of the United States. Not a lot of serious disease problems. Uh, you might see some leaf spot on this. Uh, you want it to stay, stay consistently moist uh, when possible. It can handle a little bit of drying out. Uh, in my own home landscape, I do have IT in, in a pretty dry situation and it, and it does, uh, does well, but probably not as good if it was more consistently moist. Here's a landscape tip. Great native that produces a mosaic of fall color and excellent white flowers in early summer.